Hello everyone, welcome to the Love of Earth Co. YouTube channel. Finally, I am so excited to be starting this channel, you guys have no idea. Now, a majority of you are probably coming over from TikTok and know exactly who I am and what I'm all about, but for those of you who may not have any clue who I am, that's okay. My name is Kennedy, and I am the owner and founder of Love of Earth Co. My company is all about sustainability, living a zero waste lifestyle. I have a subscription box service for people who have absolutely no idea how to be more zero waste, and then I have a general store, store, a store, a store store where people can go and shop and get things that they need to live a more sustainable lifestyle. So that's just general about me, a little bit more about me. You can check out my store through the link in the description section. On TikTok, I upload daily tips and tricks on how to live a more zero waste lifestyle. Again, go follow me on TikTok if you haven't already and keep up with the videos that I post on a day-to-day -day basis as well as over on Instagram. Now my YouTube channel, however, is where I wanna upload more longer formatted videos and show you guys kind of like the behind the scenes of what I do as somebody who lives zero waste on a day-to-day -day basis. So we'll do recipe videos, we'll redecorate my house, I'll take you guys grocery shopping with me, we'll go on trips together, we'll just do general life stuff together with a deeper explanation through a YouTube video because there's only so much that I could really squeeze into a TikTok video. So yeah, that's why I wanted to create this YouTube channel and again, I am super stoked to be on YouTube. And thank you to all of you guys who are here with me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the post notification button, that little bell that will alert you whenever I upload a new video. I'm going to try to do one video every one or two weeks. Be gentle with me, you guys. I am a business owner and my company is getting bigger and bigger every day. So I'm gonna squeeze in YouTube when I can, but I really enjoy making YouTube videos. So expect to see me here a lot more than I'm promising right now. Anyways, welcome to the first video. Today, I have something very fun for us to do. So my goal for this video is to show you guys how I'm going to redecorate my entire living room only using secondhand decor. If you have been tuning into my recent TikTok lives, I've been talking a lot about this recently. So me and my fiance live together in a condo. He originally moved in here before we had even met. So a lot of the decor in the style of this place when I moved in was very much so him, okay? It was very bachelor patty. We're gonna see it in a second. I'll take you guys out there in a second. But it's very dark. He had a very gold and black kind of theme for the house and he achieved that perfectly. Um, but I am the complete opposite of that. So my colors are white, copper, and wood, like natural wood tones. So for the past four years, I have just been salivating over the idea of redecorating this house. And of course, since I'm a zero waster, I don't buy anything brand new as far as furniture goes. So everything that you're gonna see in this video is either secondhand or was gifted to me or was found at like a yard sale. I utilized Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp. There is a secondhand store here in my town that focuses on like kitchen and living room stuff. So a lot of the stuff that I have today came from local places, people just trying to get rid of things. And I'm happy to report that I already had the biggest items that were on my list. Now, there is a budget for this project, okay? My budget is $500, and I'm not even too sure where we are in that budget. But I can go over and tell you guys right now what I've been able to get up until this point. So, so far, I've been able to get a white entertainment center that was secondhand via Facebook Marketplace, and that was 50 bucks. I was also able to get a plant stand for behind my fiance's office area. We both work from home, he works from home, his office is in our living room area, and there's a ton of plants up behind him, so I had to get like a new white stand for the plants, which you guys will see in a second. And that was $100, brand new from Ikea. Somebody just needed to get rid of it. Originally 115, but I was able to talk her down to 100. I also got a new lighter tone carpet that was free from my grandmother's garage. I have no idea why she had it. I also have a white shelf that I've had forever since college, so that was basically free. And I also have a map that we're gonna put up on the wall, and that was free because I've had that forever. And the last item that I already have is a lamp, and I got that for $5 at a yard sale or a garage sale, I can't really remember. It was like a moving out sale. So I think that leaves us with a total of, actually, sorry if I misspoke, I have one more item that I was able to get because we need new curtains. The curtains that we have now are blackout curtains that are dark gray, and they really just make the entire room look super dark. The whole room looks dark. All the decor is dark and black, but the curtains are just really the, icing on the cake, like the whole place is so dark in there. So I had to get some lighter tone blackout curtains, which I have right here, I got them this morning, and those were originally $25, but I was able to get them down to $20. I have them right here. So yeah, they are originally $25.99, as you guys can see right there. Original retail price, $140. I was able to get them down to 20 bucks because there's a little stain there, but they are beautiful quality. They are absolutely fabulous quality, brand spanking new. 
got those down to 20 bucks. So I think that leaves us with a total of, a total of 175. So we are way below budget, which is always great. Now there is still a couple more things that we're gonna need to get as like filler decor, but we won't really know exactly what we need to get until we get these main items that I already said I have into the living room now. And then afterward, once everything is set up the way I want it, then we'll kind of like scope the place, do a whole 360 glance and kind of see where we can add in some more decor. So for now, we're gonna get started. I'm going to take you guys in the living room and show the old decor, the new decor, and then we'll just get to decorating, okay? So let's go into the living room. Okay, so this is our living room, and just like I promised, it's very, very dark in here. So we have Mr. Elephant, who's gotta go. My late mother-in-law, she's gotta go. The dark carpet has got to go, and then I'm gonna show you guys the entertainment center because just like I promised, it gets even more dark. So yeah, I have a new white entertainment center we'll be placing this with. I have a white shelf that we're gonna put over there, and this, I have no idea what we're gonna do on this side, but we can figure that out later once we get the rest set up. Whoa, it's super dark, let me brighten this up. This is where our plants are. So we just have a collection of like random tables down here. These will all be replaced. I have a nice plant stand to put underneath here. So yeah, this is kind of what we're dealing with today. This is the area we're working in for now. So yeah, like I said, it's very dark in here. I was not kidding. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through and swap out all the new furniture with all the old furniture furniture and at the end we will re-collab and see where we're at if we're liking it if we're not liking it and then more importantly what to do with like the filler decor so let's do the redecorating montage So I just wanted to show you guys the current view of my entertainment center when we're watching TV and just get a good look because it's about to disappear in three, two, one. This is what we're working with now. I absolutely love it. I'm exhausted, but I could tell just from switching everything from white to black, it already looks 10 times bigger in here and a lot more inviting. So this is my new view for watching TV. And like I said, I think I'm gonna need to put something here, maybe a plant or like a nice ottoman or maybe like a short little table and then plant. But I like this clock, the clock can stay. I obviously need to clean the walls a little bit more, but yes, I am done for the day because I'm absolutely exhausted but let me know in the comments what you guys think if you're liking it or if you like the black more don't worry you won't hurt my feelings and I'm not switching it back to black okay at this point I'm exhausted but I am so grateful that we were able to get that done today so something I didn't mention at the beginning of the video is that I'm actually gonna be on a TV show it's called extreme minimalist I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of it but that was one thing I wanted to get done was re designing or redecorating my living room because that's primarily where the show will be shot at in my living room and it was just way too dark so i know if it's dark for my footage that i filmed throughout my various different social media channels i knew for a fact that it was going to be dark in there for that tv show and i absolutely did not want that so i'm so grateful that i was able to get that accomplished and more importantly that i didn't have to buy anything brand new or at full price to achieve what i did today so yeah whenever the show goes live i will be sure maybe i could post the full clip here on my youtube Perhaps, maybe I'll risk the um, copyright strike <laughs> for you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on my redecorating. If you have any suggestions or thoughts or any tweaks you think I should make, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, of course. 
Go follow me throughout my various social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, it's all Love of Earth Co. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the bell notification so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate it and I will see you hopefully all in the next one. Take care, stay well, and I'll see you later. Bye.